thank you for tuning in to Tenacious V's podcast. I'm Kayla, and each episode I will be sitting down with my good friends Nona and Julia and sharing a couple drinks while they share with me some stories of our sisters through the centuries. This week we are talking about two really badass pirate chicks. The story has a lot of twists and turns. I learned a lot. I thought I knew something, but turns out I was completely clueless, um, and I really hope that you learn a lot too. Don't forget to check out our patreon page um, and share this episode with any of your friends that you would think might enjoy this tenacious tale and don't forget to check out our good friend justin's art on instagram at brush underscore bomb thank you i hope you enjoy welcome back mateys to a very exciting episode of Tenacious V's podcast. Today, Kayla, we're doing Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. We're doing pirate women! Yes! As soon as you opened your mouth, I was like, this is about pirates, I'm so excited! (gasps) Me too, Kayla. Okay, okay. Now you understand. Now you understand. Fabulous. Great. (gasps) What does Kayla know? (sighs) Guys... I'm about to be so embarrassed because I love pirates. I'm so excited, but I don't know shit about pirates, and I wish I knew more. Well, you're about to. Oh my well, god! What do you I know about wait. lady pirates? Because I don't know. Because okay, that's like the just name, is... you know any like general pirate information? No, when you put me on the spot, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a damn fool. I know that I do, but when you like look me in the eyes and say, "Who can you name?" It's like it's a lot. That's that's cool. I shut down. Long John Silver. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lady, right? Long John Joanne Silver. I know her. I don't know, guys. I know that in my head. I know some, but the names that you just said, I don't. So that's cool. And also, right. I have a feeling deep, like in my heart, that they're gonna be way cooler than any of the dude pirates I know. So I'm excited. They might be. They might I, be. Like, they I, might think, be. I think they probably are. Because all the dude pirates I know are straight up assholes. Like, <laughs> I mean, Kayla, they're awful. Like, you have to take into account that... Touch your butt. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> they are pirates, so they're kind of no, all... like, I get that, but... By definition, assholes. Legally. Allegedly. 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 Well, the first badass, tenacious pirate lady we're going to talk about is Miss Anne Bonny. So, Anne Bonny, she was born between 1697 and 1705. Wait, wait, wait. I have a disclaimer really quick before we get further into oh, this. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, all of this information comes from... I will get you the name of the book by the end of the episode. But it comes from a book written by a pirate back in the day, and it's all very, like, very questionable at best. So, this is kind of like someone telling a story about a story they heard about you know what i mean like it's not like a first-hand account so all of this is like and they were drunk taken with a grain of salt you know yeah lots of drama i know a guy who knew a guy who knew a less (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah like they were pretty infamous at the time so like there's a lot there's information about them and there's definitely like recorded like this happened and this happened this is legit but for the most part, this is all pretty oh. speculative. Like, it's yeah. a ghost story. So. I love ghost stories. Take it as such. Awesome. So, ghost Anne Bonnie, this pirate extraordinaire. Um, so, she was born again speculatively between 1697-1705 near um, Cork, Ireland. She was born into a scandal. Sir Daddy-O, um, he was a lawyer. He had a huge drinking problem. One thing led to another, slept with his maid. So he knew his wife would be unhappy, right? You know, I his mean, maid had a baby. Like, mildly annoyed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He guides his child as a boy named Andy Cormack, right? So, you know, Anne was Andy. It still would have been Mick Cormack. Mick Cormack. I'm so sorry. Mick Cormack. That comes later. So they, they went to, to London, um, and Andy wanted to avoid the knowledge from his wife, right? Where I'm so sorry, not Andy. <laughs> William McCormack wanted to, to hide Andy from his wife. And she found out. She was obviously pissed off. So they divorced, right? William McCormack took Mary. The maid. 
Gotcha. William it McCormack is, yeah. is the father. Mary Brennan is the mother. Andy slash Anne McCormack is the child who becomes Anne Bonnie. So Andy, uh, with her daddy O, William, they go on to America. Um, and they go with Mary Brennan, who's the maid. Um, they land in North Carolina, which is where they, you know, initially reside when they what first up? get there. So when he got to America, decided to drop the Mick from McCormack to just Cormack to fit in better, right? Okay. Um, and then established enough for himself to buy a plantation. At this time, once they get into America, you know, no longer does Anne have to disguise herself as Andy. She's uh-huh. now Anne Cormack rather than Andy Mick Cormack. So Anne Cormack... You know, had a fairly normal southern upbringing, slaves, maids at that time, right? She was said to have, like, a really wicked temper, like, throw temper tantrums all the time as, like, a little kiddo. Um, you know, I'm sure well, you can relate, Kayla. Uh-huh. A little bit. And I mean, she has a whole plantation with, like, slaves <coughs> at her disposal. It was so hard, Daddy. I mean, it kind of was hard. She lost her mom at 12 years old, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I... <laughs> At age 13, you know, uh, after her mom died, she, there's actually, like, a story that she was angered by a slave, and she grabbed a butcher's knife, stabbed the slave, stabbed her to death, dude. Dead? Yeah. And sent... That's not okay. Well, and after in the hospital for numerous weeks. Her father wasn't fond of her wild ways, obviously. She was a little scandalous wait, and Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I just have like... something to add. Because, <clears throat> so, <throat> while she was still a teen, before her, before that part, a man tried to rape Anne McCormack. <laughs> wrong, she, bitch! She beat the shit out of him so bad that he was hospitalized for weeks, you guys. Fuck yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? Good for her. Isn't that badass? Yeah. That's, that was my favorite little shit. imagine if she had bit. had a, had oh, a yeah, on Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Fucking wow. awesome, right? Dude, I'm, like, I don't care... How bad you are as a person, <clears throat> but you fight that shit like that. Good for fucking you. Hell yeah. Look at you go. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thanks for that Real little symbol. tidbit. Ooh, but essentially, because she was so psycho nuts, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Her father was trying to get her wed to a fine man and resisted, right? She's like, nah, dude, that ain't the life for me. She ran off. She married a poor sailor who was also like a small time pirate. She's like the chick from Brave. Like I'll be fighting for my own hand. <laughs> right. She's also a fiery, a very attractive redhead. <clears throat> so what's that? What's her name? What's that? What's her name? Merida. Merida. Thank yes. you. She's Scottish. She's though. Merida. You well, like the Irish that. American version. Where's the yeah. pirate from? Where's the lady from? Ireland. Cork, Ireland. Cork, Cork Ireland. Cork, Ireland. So they, like, say immigrated Mary. to America with their dad. <laughs> under the photos of a boy, right? And Cormac, same diff. Got it. Yeah. I'm on board. Anyway, so she marries James Bonney, small-time pirate extraordinaire. Not to be mistaken for James Bond. No, close. Yeah. No, no, um, no, cigar. no peg leg, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> James and Anne, they decided to move away from North Carolina. Come on, raise up. Mm-hmm. To a pirate settlement. Yeah, called... me too. <laughs> to a pirate settlement called the Republic of Pirates in the South. Uh, she was under the impression that she'd be sailing with James all the time, right? Like, you know, hey, we're in this together. We're right. going to be running we're things partners. together. But really, he treated her just as your typical wife, your typical chick. Left her at home, would go off on an adventures, you know. And she said... Oh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, she she was, dude. She was, like, very bored, despondent, pissed off. This oh, is yeah, what I expected. Sucks. Um, And when she was about 17, early teens, in her teens, if mm-hmm. you will, um, a new governor took over the region, and James Bonney became a spy for him. Whoa. Yeah. Um, so she was appalled by this because she was like, no, dude, I, I bought into the pirate's life. And started spending more and more time in saloons, pirate pubs. Um, And she became friends with many different pirates, including uh, Captain Calico Jack. Like my, the rum. Like the the rum. I I mean, two, two very well-known, you know, alcohols. I didn't know that was a real guy. I was like, wow, knockoff Sailor (coughs) Perry. Little do I know. So I want to just throw in really quick a tidbit. He was called Calico Jack because he dressed extremely flamboyantly and like wore lots of colors and patterns. Oh, and it was like just a like Calico Calico pink. Jack, like a cat, yeah, like peaches. Like oh, peaches. My cat, my cat's Calico Jack. 
But right, yeah, I mean, almost as much of a bitch. (laughs) So yeah, I mean, she 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 fell, you know, she she met this guy Calico Jack, fell in love with him naturally, as they do with pirates. Uh huh. Um, and same Captain, yeah. Captain Jack offered, offered James Bonnie, her husband, um, like a huge amount of money just to divorce Anne so that he could marry her. Right. Well, James Bonnie de- declined the offer, even though missing on like well, yeah. tons of money well, who? and he truly needed it. Like at that time, it's like, you know, he's a plantation owner. No, and no. He was like a sailor still. He's a sailor, a merchant sailor. I'm so yeah. sorry. That's why her dad was a plantation owner. But we'll like, get into that would be like, cool, two mils, great. But like, uh, yeah, but like, wife. you know, like, he's like, no, nah, dude, <laughs> like, I need the money, but wife. not so much. Right. He's like, I love her. So what is it, you know, what does Anne do? She's like, well, I, I ain't about this life of just being a merchant's wife and staying at home Screw and being this. divorced. I'm going to go out with Mr. Calico Jack over here and have a great old time. Mm-hmm. So Anne and him, they bounced on their ship. They left. They sailed around all the Caribbean. When she first joined his crew, she dressed as a man again, like she did when she was Andy, mm-hmm. to prevent any, like, overly suspicious men from solely, like, discovering who she was, Kayla, right? So you know that gotten... superstition, though, right, right Kayla? On that ship. Like, that's no, an issue. I mean, no, Kayla, like, it it's... been bad. No, that's not It's superstition. It's superstition. It's superstition. No, I you get that. Having a woman, a woman on board is bad, like, yeah. but realistically, like, being the only woman... A... No, the... Uh, uh, honestly, her real fear was getting killed. <laughs> Like, that's probably what I'm saying. Raped like, the body. Raped, killed, like, okay, let's be. Okay, we need to skip okay, this. Okay, sorry. Let's I'm just saying. <laughs> I understand really need why to she move did on. it. That's scary being the only woman on a ship with all men for months of the Understood. time. Understood. But, but anyway, she was also her. protected by the captain. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That's so, true. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, ultimately, as years like went on, she, she kind of started dressing more as herself. Mm-hmm. It would only done like the full, like, male dar- like, garb if she was, like, in battle. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, she did eventually kind of get That's herself, good. like, more towards her, you know, a female at the end of her, her salins. <laughs> salins. Yeah. That's good. So, Mary Reed, she was born in a month in 1695. <laughs> we don't know which month. <laughs> she was born illegitimately in England, just like Anne Bonnie. Her mother had been married to a sailor and had a son, but he disappeared at sea. The the sailor, not the son. And the son, shortly after Mary was born, died. So her mother, trying to continue to get money from the son's grandma, so the father's, the paternal grandmother. So she was trying to continue to get money, so she dressed, she dressed Mary as Mark, the mm-hmm. brother. And that actually worked for a really long time. Wow. Until Mary was about 13, Mm -hmm. and she had been Mark her entire life. Like, she grew up from the time she was probably less than one Mm -hmm. as Mark. And she was about 13, and her grandmother died, so they stopped getting money. So she got a job as a footboy, which is essentially, Um, like, a slave boy, but they do, like, the heavy lifting and, like... No, like, no, like, no feet stuff. No, it's not. It's it's because they do a lot of the walking and carrying. It has nothing to do with, like, foot stuff. As soon as you said that, I was like, oh, no. No, it's not anything (laughs) creepy. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, a butler that does heavy lifting and, like, the dirty jobs, you know? Like, the extra shitty butler. Jeeves' assistant. Like, Jeeves' Like, the person who cleans up after Batman, like, underneath Albert. Got it. Yeah. Anyways, so she, after that, like, joins the British Army and was a fucking badass. Mm -hmm. And this was either during the Nine Years' War or the War of the Spanish Succession. It's, like, pretty unclear. Meh, we don't know. But she was fucking ferocious in battle. And she was, like, quickly moving up the ranks until she fell in love with a Flemish soldier who was actually the enemy. Okay, this is awesome, guys. <laughs> Flemish is there is a country. It's a region. You knew of, exactly what I was about to ask. It's a. I was so excited yeah, about this. Do. I didn't even care at all. I was like, wait a second. So there's a region um, of Belgium called Flanders. Oh, and it I was love a, him. it was a country 
and they speak Flemish, and they are Flemish, and it's my favorite new area, and oh, I want to go. I, like, I'm going to go home. Can we and learn look up Flemish? Flanders. <laughs> Flanders, dude. That's the region. It's like the top third of Belgium. Wow. Yeah. I, I had so much fun doing I'm that part of the research. I'm excited about that. The more yeah. you know. So she disclosed to this Flemish soldier, because they were like enemy soldiers, I think. Okay. Like, there was like three sources that said they were enemies, and like a couple sources that said they were the same side. So he was for sure Flemish, and I'm pretty sure she was in the British Army, so like, okay. pretty sure they were enemies. Yes. She was where's, the British Navy. Where's Flanders? Top hat. Belgium. Of Belgium, which is like. Another Near Amster- Amsterdam. Yeah, got it. So, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm with you. I got it. Awesome. awesome. They're like yeah. pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Anyways, she exposes herself to him, like, as a woman, because, you know, she's a man in the army. Mm-hmm. And they, like, fall in love. They leave the army, and they both, like, I'm pretty sure what happens here is they just go to their captains, and they're like, hey, I fell in love with a woman. I need, like, money to go get married. And they were like, yeah, here's then, here's the money. So they both get money, they leave the army, they get married, and they open a an inn. Do you want to hear me try to pronounce? Okay. Tell me, please. Say it's it. in, um, is I it believe in Flemish? it's in Flemish, which is... Yes! Like... Yes! That's what I wanted. I wanted to hear the Flemish language. I've never heard or seen Flemish before in my life. Please, I'll say it so, to me. Dedri Hofizers. Oh! I mean that would make sense that it would be similar to German. Yeah, it's like right it's in like the Dutch, area. you know. What do they stink? What What do they, they stink? They speak Dutch in Belgium. Thank you. You yeah. knew she's on it. She the, gets me. So that's the Three <laughs> Horseshoes Inn. Okay. And it's near Breda Castle in the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, her husband died really young. Damn, that sucks. Right? That like this sucks. Like right? right after they purchased the like, inn, dude. Okay. Maybe yeah. a year or two. Okay. Yeah. Hey, bummer. Like, too. Got these so, money. She's like, they... fuck, I have so many bills. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So she goes back to like cross dressing and rejoins the army what, in what else are you gonna do? Holland this time. Uh huh. And but it's like peaceful right now. So she's like, fuck, because there's nothing going on. Like it's a time of peace. She can't advance in the ranks. She can't mm-hmm. show her prowess. Like nothing going on. So she literally just, like, she either gets some, like, random sailor work or, like, just hops on a boat. Like, it's pretty unclear. But she heads towards... No, I Like, to the West Indies. She heads to the West Indies, yeah. which is a region in the North Atlantic, mm-hmm. including the Bahamas. Mm-hmm. So she goes to the Bahamas, and her ship gets captured by pirates. And it's like... Oh, no. So either she's, like, <laughs> super about it, and she's like, yeah, I'll come be a pirate, or they, like, force her into it very, like, unreluctantly, but it's, like, one or the other very it's unclear It's not, like, in which. between. Don't, yeah, there's don't no, like, She's like, maybe I'll yeah, be her yeah, pirate. Sure. It, it was either, like, yeah, let's do it, or, like, but fuck, no, you know, like, know. we have no idea. That's, like, a whole dynamic. <laughs> like, we have no she idea. want to be? Yeah. Or... Guys, I love history, but I fucking hate history yeah. because of that. Like, <laughs> oh, we just don't know. That's sucks that we don't so, know. So, by the way, the book this is all known from is called A General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates with a Y. 1724 is when it was published by Captain Charles Johnson. And he was possibly the writer known as Willem Dafoe. Or D- <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, guys. I was trying so hard not to say that. Don't say William Defoe. Out. Don't say William Defoe. It was Daniel. Just, Daniel. I love Daniel. Defoe. Um, yeah, so she like joins the pirates. It's you know we we don't know how how much she loved it or not, but she joined them, and she ends up soon after she's captured in Calico Jack Rackham's crew along with our lady and Bonnie. Mm-hmm. Guys, can we talk for a second about the names? Okay. Jack Rackham. Jack <laughs> okay, Jack so his Bonnie. name, his born name is John Rackham, and he becomes Captain Calico Jack Rackham. Oh, what? Jack and Rackham. 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 Jack Jack and Rackham. Up. <laughs> Jack and Rackham. Up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so when Mary joins the crew, she is fully in the guise of Mark Reed. Right. Just, you know, that's kind of her normal life. But her and Anne 
quickly become friends, like mm-hmm. really close. You know, they're hanging out all the time. Um, they were so close, in fact, that Jack, knowing Anne's like slightly promiscuous ways, got super fucking jealous. So one night they're down in Anne's chambers or whatever. I don't I don't know how the chambers on a pirate ship work, but from my understanding, like cap- they don't like they have their it? own the captain's quarters. Cap- captain's yeah. quarters, and then below deck, there's yeah, but the they way. don't have just like hammocks. Anyways, whatever. I feel <laughs> yeah. like she, they were probably holed up in the captain's quarters. Probably. He like confronts them, and he's like, <coughs> "Oh, you're cheating on me with Mark." These are and my quarters. So he's like freaking out. He's drunk. He has mad a gun. At Anne. Mad at Anne. Mad at Mark. He's going to shoot Mark. And they're both like, no, no, no. Like, we promise. It's fine. It's fine. She's a woman. And he's like, what the fuck? And so Mark whips her tits out. Yeah. She's like, well, she's like, I'm, Mark I'm, whips her tits out. I'm Mark Mary. Is Mary. I'm I know. Mary. <laughs> that was, that was just. English gold. I've been waiting for that sit, sentence for so I'm long. Sitting, I'm, sit, I'm right here with you. So Just Mark keep whips talking. her tits out, and it was it was cool. So he was like, oh, like oh shit, I've got two women on my ship. Oh, like that's no. cool, you know. I'm a happy time. So, so lesbian three way. For real this no, time. For real it's this not time. For pretend this time. <laughs> not for pretend this time, <gasps> Kayla. They had their own relationship, Mary and Anne. What the fuck? And then there was also like a three way. But thing. the whole well, time like, they were all pretending to be dudes. Allegedly. Until all of a sudden they were not. Allegedly. Well, no, everyone so... thought that each other was a dude and they like weren't interested. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. So At this point, we everyone know knew genders. Anne was <coughs> a woman. Mark... I know we know, but the. the, the no, the everyone yeah, yeah. knew Anne. Everyone knew Anne was. Because like I said, like, she was like, I'm a, you know, I'm a dude, I'm but then like I okay, slowly okay. tried to She slowly transitioned. So, Anne is, like, known <coughs> to be a woman, okay. and it's cool, and then she becomes a man during battle to be more intimidating, and then Mary, like, always just, I feel like she just feels more comfortable at this point dressing as a man, so she, like, always Her does thing. it. Yeah. Yeah, but they, like, it slowly becomes known throughout the entire crew that she's a woman, but, like, at first it's just Anne <coughs> and Calico Jack. Sorry. But, yeah, you know, they're... They, they had their little thing. They had a... Wow. There was a fun Not little even, lesbian I tryst. didn't get the, this is pretend hand signal, so... No, it was real. Wow. Good for them. So, you know, two women on a ship, this is ultimately, you know, why he really became famous, Calico Jack, right? Because it was, okay. like, super bad luck. You can't have chicks on your ship. No. But, I mean, yeah. obviously, like, once it gets out, like, I'm banging these two. Like, we're having a great old time. like, damn, I want two chicks on my ship. You know, and, <laughs> you know, he wasn't a really good fighter. He wasn't, you uh-huh. know, a very good navigator. Which he, is why he really... he's $2 less than Sailor Jerry. Uh, I get it. He's not a really good, <laughs> he, honestly, <laughs> he's not a very good pirate. Yeah. But he's clever, he was tactically skilled, and um, ultimately, like, earned, like, the respect of his crew. Mm-hmm. But, you know, with all the piratey sex going on on board, <laughs> came no surprise that Anne became pregnant. Stop. Yup. Oh, no. While out at sea. Remember, Anne what? still got James Bonney oh. at home, right? Oh, Skate no. Away. What did she do? You can't, if you get an abortion, you'll die right I, now. I mean. Plus, they're on a boat. Exactly. Like, so, what, they're going to shoot her... With a cannonball? No, no, no. So Jack, Jack, Calico Jack drives, drops her off in, he drops her off in Cuba to give birth and kind of gives her like, hey, this general meetup place, you know, when the baby, after the baby's born. So she stays in Cuba for a few months, gives birth to a son. It's unknown really what happens to her son, which is kind of sad. What is that? He's either thought to be like either dying during birth or was abandoned or was given to like some of Calico now Jack's like for sure. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that might well now, now, yeah. <laughs> but like it was like speculative like whether she you know, like what happened with the baby. Like maybe right. it was given to Calico Jack's like family she to take care just... of. Essentially she's done with that. So she dusts off her hands, boards the ship back to meet up with Mary and Jack. And on uh-huh. her way, she's captured <gasps> No. By her ex husband. Stop. James no. Bonney, because guess James what? James Bond again? James... <laughs> Damn. Well, okay, so she gets... 1700 soap opera. She ah. gets, she gets, you know, pregnated, impregnated by Calico Jack, and her and Calico Jack, they get married at some point during, you know, their, their sea t- time travels, mm-hmm. her little... I mean, he's really the only man mentioned, but you never know. <laughs> I mean... Uh, we've seen a to pattern. Be she, to, be to be fair. To be fair. 
Um, so to be fair, she gets captured by her ex-husband, who brings her back to Governor Rogers, right? This guy's a dick the entire time. His and name demands... is Governor Rogers. I would have thought he'd be a nice guy. No, dude. No. He's, so he's the governor that her husband was spying for. Originally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, back in the day. Remember how he was like a spy? No, you know, I she wasn't yeah, really yeah, stoked yeah. about that. Yeah. I'm right here with you. So, she, you know, okay. he's spying for Governor Rogers. And he demands that she be tried for adultery and flogged. Well, I mean, like, eh. You know, who doesn't like a good flogging? <laughs> I'm like, she's, she's <laughs> probably like, yeah, okay. Yeah. She's like, oh, I don't know. Can you uh, skip the prison part? Great. Um, but yeah, but she gets flogged and she gets in prison until, um, lo and behold, guess who comes to save her? Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Caligo Jack. Once Anne is rescued, Jack, Mary, and her steal a new and better boat, the William, and head back out to sea to plunder. So the only problem with that, okay, they weren't very smart about this. Because they straight up, like, it's like noon. High noon. Hot, bright. Right as There's fuck. people bustling around this port. Yeah. They straight up just, like, walk out and steal this boat. Middle yeah, of like, the middle of the day. Like, yeah. bustling, hustling. So they're just, like, they, like, wanted a bounty. Like, they're yeah. like, well, I don't fuck know. it. So, yeah, they just, like, take this we boat. Yeah, five. Eh. But the crazy part is they actually get away with it for, like, almost a year. Yeah, dude. But about, a year? Yeah. And the craziest part, wow, a month after they steal the boat, a month, it takes a month, like they, people, everyone saw this, and a month later, they're released in like the newest edition of like, catch that criminal, most, (laughs) Hollywood's most wanted, to catch a pirate, to to catch a pirate. They're declared enemies of the crown. <gasps> no. And bum, bum, bum. That's all bad. Through Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed are mentioned by name, which is a huge deal. They are mentioned by name as pirates. They're like Bonnie and Clyde Like these, these two pirates. chicks. These yeah. two chicks were. But Clyde's like, a lady, too. Exactly. What's, what, who am I thinking? Shirley and Laverne. Shirley and Laverne. That's what I'm thinking, not Bonnie. But a whole Clyde. lot gayer and drunker. <laughs> That's up to speculation. Fair, wow. Fair. <laughs> but I mean, also, imagine at the time, though. Like, That's like a big deal. We didn't even have fingerprinting until the fucking 70s. Like, at, this is like, what, like 1650? Is that really when it got invented? Uh, Yeah, and it wow. didn't get put into commonplace practice until the 90s, the early wow. 90s. Wow. Well, no wonder shit. we learned I don't about care. that shit in I school. I watched so many crime documentaries. <clears throat> we also didn't have... DNA testing until the fucking 80s, the mid 80s. Imagine like like the 1650s, whenever we're talking about roughly, just a guess, 1720s. Yeah, 70 year margin, not so bad. But like imagine finding like the sea, the, the ocean is 70% of our planet. Right, and we haven't someone, even explored like. Yeah, someone steals a ship. Okay, but like they take out a port. Kill it. Good fucking luck. Kayla. That's amazing they got away for with it for a year. <clears throat> it makes they, sense. They stayed in, like, that region. Like, they ah, didn't, like, what? go to China. Okay, well, that like, changed. That they changes. were, like, hanging yeah, out no, in the like, neighborhood. Oh, right. Like, a that really bad things. drug dealer. Because I'm, I'm, like, thinking they're out sailing the no, Atlantic. No, they're, like, sailing they're around the like, Bahamas. They're just, like, around. I'm like, there's, what, all of five ships on the entire fucking <clears> earth? <throat> <clears throat> At that time, sailing around, of course they're not getting caught. But but that's pretty anyways, stupid of them. So but in the time before, like between them getting the ship and them getting caught, they like steal a few more smaller vessels. They make up a whole new crew. Mm-hmm. They steal all sorts of booty and treasure. And you know, like they're just you know they're plundering. They're getting booty. You're getting that booty. But yeah, they they have like all sorts of privateers after him af- after them. And a privateer is essentially like a government sanctioned pirate. It's so yeah, they get like a letter a, of mark. What's the what's it called? Like a bounty hunter. Like a, yeah, 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 yeah. But they're allowed to like pillage and they're allowed to like, like they, plunder they can from do the ships. The they same take. shit pirates do, but but they only have from certain reason. countries. Like so, it's like okay. you can do this to the three countries we're at war with. Right, go for it. You know, that care. type of thing. Right. But, or, like, but we'll you, send you after the people on this list. But it's, like, contractual. Like, you yeah. have to bring 
me Calico Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> or stuff like that. You yeah. Are gonna get tried for it. It's contractual. Yeah, yeah, to a degree. I mean, it's like use your best judgment, but yeah, if, you know, these people aren't a part of like the country that we're fighting with. Cool. What else? What so else they're just you guys hanging got? out. They're just chilling. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so privateer um, Jonathan Barnett, he was one of the dudes who was, you know, bounty hunter going out there, finding people, um, and he's he catches them, right? The crew's a little, little slightly drunk. They were celebrating a successful plunder from the day before. They just, mm-hmm. you know, got a bunch of, you know, money and hose. Um, yeah, so I would like to clarify that. <laughs> Captain Calico Jack Rackham is slightly drunk. The, the crew is wasted fucking plastered done. like they're all gone. done they're blacked out they're a whole half, they're a handle of calico jack each each like half of them can't even Got are it. blacked out asleep can't do anything yeah i mean captain jack Con- he he's drunk too but he's like conscious and he's you know able to walk around and stuff like and his crew Barney is... and mary reed had not had anything to drink though yeah yeah, they were sober. They might have had like a, you know, they're like smart. yay. And... They're smart and they're cautious because that's a scary situation. Exactly. They um, had some grog. But anyways, they did everything in their power to get their crewmates up and ready to fight once um, Jonathan Burnett came on the scene, right? Mm-hmm. So they they get everybody up. They get them down to the lower portion of the ship. Get them all equipped with their guns, some extra ammo. Like, dude, this is going on. We're about to get fucking manhandled. Mm-hmm. And. Basically was trying to like, hey, Calico Jack, dude, you gotta like, you gotta man the crew. And he, mind you, he's not like plastered, you know, right. he, he kind of still has a mind. But he surrenders um, to the larger vessel that comes up with Jonathan on it. And, um, and you know, being married to Calico Jack at this point, she's screaming at him over his cowardice. Like, mm-hmm. how fucking dare you? Mary and I got all this shit together. We're ready to fight. Like, we've done this before. Um, and they refuse to back down. So they continue continue to like fight off the invaders of the ship for like just long. Just the two of them. Just the two of them, because the the crewmates Everyone are smashed. Everyone else has surrendered or is passed out. And Calico drunk. Jack's like white flag. Yeah, it's like that scene in the Pirates of the Caribbean where the fucking asshole, what's his name, whatever the British asshole, uh, Norrington, uh, was, like walking down the stairs and everything's blowing up around him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. That's yeah. what I'm seeing. No, it's just Anne and Mary, right? Mm-hmm. And. Um, so they're fighting them off just themselves, and then they get fully undertaken. So they got overtaken. so pissed at their crew about this that they really <coughs> started shooting at their own men. What they the were like, fuck? get the fuck up, bitches! Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah dude. That's like that's not very nice. But they shouldn't have done that. Ultimately, Jonathan Barnett took the crew over, took them back to land, imprisoned them. I mean, and it's not really fully clear, but it seems like they're in prison for about a year, and then. Um, and Bonnie, well, you know, Calico yeah. Jack and Calico, how you know, and, and Bonnie, yeah, um, and Mary Reed get sentenced. Okay. So when the courts are finally ready to put all the men on trial, men specifically. So not the two, not Mary yeah, not Diana. not men. Got it. They find them guilty and condemn all of them to hang. All the men. Hang by the neck until dead. Yep. Yep. So a few weeks later, they hold the trial for Anne and Mary, who plead their bellies. Meaning they are both pregnant. I know, shocking. <laughs> Dude, it came wow. out right before, right when, right when shit went down, they were like, Jack, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you want to really do us a solid? You want to really like help us out from you know? I think three they were all just kind of now. in love with each other. <laughs> so, actually, legend has it that Mary or Anne Bonnie's last words to Calico Jack, she got to like have one last visit to him before they were all sentenced. Mm-hmm. And her last words to Calico Jack were, if you had fought like a man, you would not be hanged like a dog. Damn. Isn't that fucking intense, That's guys? Tr- like, can you like she left her husband for this guy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she thought he was a badass pirate. And, and she was like, bitch. are you <laughs> are you, Are you joking me? Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, so wow. they get a stay of execution until they give birth. They both give birth to their children in prison. It's, like, super unknown. Like, literally no idea what happens to either baby. I couldn't Why find Why does no one have to know about the babies? They just, like, disappear. I'm, I mean, like, pretty sure Mary Reed's baby dies. Like, pretty certain of that. Uh-huh. 
But I, and Bonnie, like, no idea. They um, start giving up for adoption, and they're like, or like the prison takes them. I don't want or something to like know that. me. Like yeah. I don't want to be the pirate mom kid. So yeah. they're just like, don't. I don't think they really had a choice back post then. Anything to on be Facebook. honest, they don't want. Yeah. They don't want posting. Anything on <laughs> so Mary Reed died, died at some point, April twenty eighth of seventeen twenty one. Okay. In prison of a fever thought <clears throat> to be contracted probably like during childbirth. Mm-hmm. And then, Anne Bonnie just straight up like disappears. Like we so. Some people think because at this point her father's like made a name for himself. Like he's a pretty wealthy dude. He owns a plantation. I think mm-hmm. I think he's a lawyer again at this point. So a lot of people think that he used his influence to get her out and that he like got her a husband and she settled down and just like chilled. Other people think that she like broke out of prison and pirated for a while. Mm-hmm. Like under the guise of like a different name. Or yeah. Maybe like, it's a dude again. Changed or... to a man again. Like we have no idea. That's crazy. So wow. yeah. Wow. Do you guys ever read the word guys and read it as geese? Yeah. <laughs> all the, all look, at all look at all <laughs> them geese. Look at geez. all them geese. That and uh, that and epitome. I'm always like the epitome. Fuck! I did it again. <laughs> Every like, time. Hyperbole. I always read as hyperbole. Hyperbole. Yeah, dude. I'm. I makes me so mad. Look right. at the guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that, guys. That was yeah. So those are some pretty badass ladies, if you ask me. Some tenacious fucking V's. Yeah, tune in in a couple weeks to learn about some more. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed that episode, you should give us a follow. We are Tenacious V's Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also subscribe to our Patreon page and get an amazing art piece from Justin at BrushBomb on Facebook and Instagram. As always, this episode was spoken, edited, and recorded by Julia, Kayla, and Nona. All musical contributions are done by Staple Mill. Come back soon for some more mysteries.